Hello guys, welcome back. This is your boy Penny and Dan and today we're going to be doing a review. Before I do a review, I'd like to say that it is an absolute beautiful day and well, I'm very happy to say because me and my dad are having such a great time. As some of you might know that I am working with my dad, he buys and sells vans and well, we're having a blast of the time selling vans and well, I've got so much money that I do not know what to do with it. I am planning to get four new locomotives at one time and now be in the upcoming video which is called which is gonna be called uh the treasure trove. And well I'm gonna show you those locomotives in the future. But now I'm going to be doing a review of a very special and lovely locomotive. So this locomotive is 04 Diesel Shunter 11217 BR Black Early Emblem Weathered. Yes, weathered. And the code is 31 339. And well, this was given to me by my dad for a birthday present. My birthday has gone. Uh, like a few months ago, it was February, but he gave me this not this year, last year, and well, I was very pleased because he had few deci um, decisions to buy me stuff. He had three actually. He he didn't actually plan to get me this. He was planning to get me either a J ninety four in the Wimber Wimbury or the the blue delivery code scheme and well he was about to buy it but it went for sixty pounds and I thought sixty pounds for Wimbury no nah, not uh, not that sort of price or a class thirty seven in the split screen head code in BR Green and well that also went for quite a lot of money. I think they made seventy to eighty pounds so I just I just sort of like gave up and I was just looking on eBay for other stuff and I just typed in Batman Shunter and this was the cheapest one, buy it now for £25 and I thought I've got to have that and I said to Dad, do you want to pay for this um, locomotive and he says sure and then well the next, and the next day it came through and well I was very pleased with it and, and this, the reason why it was £25 was, it, was because it was lim um, a little bit damaged but I'm right with that I do not mind a little bit of damage. I do not like when locomotives have have a lot of damage, that like the body is a bit cracked and all that, or it's got a big scrape on. But I'm all right with a little bit of damage. So let's open her up and see what she is like. This is the old side packaging. So you've got the box, and there's a locomotive, and here you've got the postcard with the brief history in the back. I'm not going to go through it because I do not know a lot about these O4s or the O3s locomotives. So I'm not going to go through it, but if you want to learn a bit more about the O4s and O3s, please go on uh, Google and they'll probably show you like the history of it. And inside the postcard, you've got just the one sheet, which is the part sheet. This is quite hard to find. Now, does if you have lost one, you will be in stuck. I really do mean stuck because I have one locomotive, which is a class 66, and I've lost the instructions for that, and I want to know how to set the body off. And I spent like a month trying to work out how to get off, and I just found out right now. But I'm not going to show you that locomotive now on for cook um, for now because it is not in um, around my house. It is around my mates at the moment. He's just borrowing it for a moment and trying to fix it for me. So, yes, pretty good mate there I've got. And there's the locomotive. Uh, you usually get detail and pack, but you do not get detail and pack for this locomotive because this was second hand. You usually get second hand locomotives if they're quite old, but you usually get occasional new or unused locomotives, but it's quite hard to find. Uh, so, for this box, you've got one hole in the back, and just gently push it out. If it's a bit tight, just give it a little bit of a 
a little bit of force and there we go so a bit of locomotive down and there's the polystyrene box there and to the locomotive and as you can see now the, the reason why it was a um, little bit damaged was because there's a little bit of glue I think it's on this side or the other I think it's this side there's a little bit of glue on the handrails because they um, snapped off and here the the handrails on this side and the other are damaged but those little details are, I'm alright with so yeah this is a quite not a not very old locomotive but quite an old one I understand that Backman are pre-releasing the BR Black 04s out Sorry, but if you heard that scream, that was outside. I do not know what's going on out there, but uh, I'm still carrying on. So yes, this is. They are bringing out the BR Black 04 uh, edition in pristine, which is which means not weathered. And well, I think it's going to be like 50 to 60 pounds. And I thought, well, I bought one for 25 pounds, so nah, I'm not going to buy one of those unless they are. Unless uh, they become bargains, I will go for it because I love bargains. I really, really do. So yeah, uh, at the front you have got not sprung. Well, you have got sprung buffers, but not very springy buffers. But you do not have any M couplings because they are screwed in. And the reason why, and another reason why they are not any M couplings because of these this big. Uh, buff of beam. I do not wa know why they have got big buff beams so comment below and ask me why and you've got this vacuum pipe or screwy um, vacuum pipe which I'm just pissing up right I probably need to glue that in and you've got four four lamp hooks and well as you can see some of them do have this long extension here on the lamps and this one doesn't and the top one doesn't and saying about the top, the this is the well, this is what I call it a traffic cone funnel. You do get the snow cone um, funnel, but I do not particularly like that sort of look. So I just went for this. And well, on the side you've got lovely grills, as you can see. Not not like moulded plastic it is actual grill, so you can actually feel it and rub your nails against it you've got steps at the front and you've got the 060 wheel arrangement here and quite special like most of this is because and as you can see behind the steps if I just lift it up a bit you've got a flywheel if anyone can comment below in real life that is the flywheel the main driving wheel to drive all these six wheels or is it just like a guidance please comment below because I really do not know and as you can see there's the number 11217 with the early emblem up top and as you can see the handrails are plastic not metal shame really shame 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 a lot of shames <laughs> and well and do not know why this is brown. Very that, that is very brown. Probably rust or some of that. Well, probably painted as rust. And as you can see inside the cab, you do not have no detail, but you have a drive in there. Do do people know? Does people know that? Oh well, can someone tell me why is there a drive in there? Like, did Batman put? Do Batman put all the drivers in these O4s, or is it just the, it, or is it just because the person that I bought this off of, or my dad bought this off of, put a driver in there? Please comment below. It would be very helpful. And on the back, it's saying spawn buffers, non NEM coupling, but just a small coupling, four lamp hooks, and some more handrails. So yes, a pretty basic locomotive. I uh, hopefully. And hopefully she'll run really, really well. As you saw in a few of my videos, that like the uh, warship 
running video and all that she was in a few of those videos because I thought uh, she hasn't been running for quite a while and uh, I just thought get her, I'll show her a bit but I, I actually wish that I didn't put on the on the video because I have actually got J94 oh I hit the camera up there on my display cam cabinet and she hasn't been running for a very long time she is well, she is such a beautiful locomotive. She's unboxed, so I probably won't do a review of her. If I find a box, I will do a review of her. But she is such a lovely locomotive, and she's just standing there hoping to be run. And I, I was just gutted that I couldn't run her on that video because she runs absolutely stunning, not perfection. But yes, but she. The uh, O4 was alright, except for the couplings wouldn't couple together with the big, big couplings in the videos. Oh, um, well, enough of that. But, yeah, what we'll give her for detailing will be in the run video. But the weight of her, whew, quite a lot of weight for quite a small locomotive. But the weight, 9 out of 10 possibly. I'm not going to give her full 10 out of 10 because they could have done a little bit more like put a bit of weight on like these little details and all that like you can put a bit of weight and um, like make your own weights in the funnel to make that a bit heavy and well yeah but hopefully she will be strong and powerful because I've got a long long train for her to pull because obviously she's a shunter and she should be pulling or shunting larger wagons so yeah so the running video will be tomorrow on which is Monday I think that's the 8th so yeah that'll be coming very soon and and I hope you guys had a good day today because I have it's such a lovely day I've been having well not a tan but uh, my back's a bit burned <laughs> that's not very um, funny but I hope you lot have a good day today and I hope to see you soon. So everyone keep up the good work and if you like this video so much please leave a like and if you want to subscribe please do and I hope to see you soon guys. Bye.